guys, it's Mrs. Musical Pins here and in this video I will show you how to use Final Cut Pro, just some very basics, uh, basics about video editing and before we do that today I would just like to make sure that I tell you I'm not a professional in this, I just learned this on my own. I have been watching lots of videos and reading a lot and after I found out that there's just not a great tool for learning to do all these virtual choirs, I decided that I would share my knowledge with you. Now, some of you might not have Final Cut Pro, and the good news is that if you do have Mac OS, you can just go to apple.com and download a free trial um, for 90 days and use that, and that is exactly what I did in these past couple weeks. So, let's start. I'm going to open my Final Cut Pro and I will have this little window pop up because it is expiring sometime soon. And now what I will create first is I will create a new project. So I'll go file new and project. I'm going to just name it FCP introduction and it is brand new, nothing is there, which is very nice. So I'm ready to import my first video. So I'm just gonna go to my files and find the video and I'm gonna put it right here. I just drag and drop and now I can start editing and playing around with it and working on it. So a couple things. Um, there are, I'm going to introduce to you a couple tools that I found really useful during my work on my virtual choirs. The first one is blading. These next two, next couple tools can be found in this box here on this mouse. You can also use the shortcuts that are incredibly useful. The first one is blading. I can just move the cursor around and just blade, gate, blade, blade, cut, 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 cut. Now this tool I found very useful when I had, let's say some singers who maybe started singing later than they had to, or maybe I had younger students who just didn't quite understand how they have to record themselves. Um, so I still could include them into the virtual choir, even though that their recording might not have been perfect, which is great. So I can just expand this and what happens when I cut it. So this is what happens. I'll just show you. So where I cut in, you know, and you can just expand it. And that works really well for that. Now, the next one, when I want to play, I press space, bar, and then again for stop. The next one, the next tool that I like to use sometimes was trim. You can just press T key or again go here. Trim really is just trimming the video at the beginning and at the end, especially when you have those entrances at the beginning, maybe somebody is doing what I'm doing right here, just fixing their hair and you don't want that. So you can just trim it and it's all gone. Another useful tool is range selection and you can just click on your clip and just drag and now you have this selected and then you can with this, you can copy and paste or cut it out. There's lots of different things you can do. Now, the next thing I found really useful for my all my virtual choirs is trimming and cropping and transforming the video. There are a couple ways you can do this. This can be found. So very first, I need to highlight this. I'm actually going to undo everything I did so far. So to undo, you can just press command and C and you undo your actions. Very common command on Mac. So now I'm just going to click here and I can find crop. What I can also do when I'm done, I press done. 
What I can also do is use a shortcut, which I really love for my virtual choirs because I did a lot of cropping and tr uh, transforming. So you can press Shift and C and it's an automatic cropping. So I'm gonna crop it right here and maybe just a little bit more here. And I'm gonna press done. Now, if I wanted to crop and then just move this around, cause right now, right, I can't, I'm just cropping, but I wanna move it around. I can transform this and the shortcut for transform is shift and T and you can move it around the screen and make it smaller and bigger. All these commands as well are on top here. So this is the clip. These are the color, saturation, exposure here, and then the sound. And for the clip, you will see the transform is here. If I unclick it, it changes. Crop the same thing and I undo everything. So you can actually, I can change this by moving these little cursors or I can also just double click on the number and make it up and this is what happens. Now, um, the next tool that I found somehow somewhat useful were the effects and the effects can be found audio and video on the bottom right here. You can click on them and you'll get all sorts of video effects, distortion, keying, light. So maybe I want to change and do like, I don't know, this one. So what happens, I actually don't like that. It's terrible, but I just wanted to give you an example. So what happens if you want to add an effect, just click on the effect and drop it, drag it and drop it on your clip. Now I don't like this dazzle and it's in the clip. So I just undo that action. Um, the next thing um, that it's, I found really kind of useful, if I want to zoom in or out, make this clip a little bit bigger or smaller, I just use my trackpad and use my two fingers to do this, which is very simple. And this is basically it about the video that I found useful in creating my virtual choir. I will come up with a lot more content. The next video will be about audio editing and then i'm going to take you throughout the whole process through a couple more videos on how to create your virtual choir thank you all for watching please don't forget to subscribe and share